Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to continue in the emergency email server series. Uh, in the first and second videos we showed you how someone could send an email through the system and then how replies would be posted and how the end user would search for those when they came back in. Today we're going to take a look at how text messages are sent through the system. So we're back on the first screen that the end user would see when they logged into the system. Scrolling down to the bottom past where we entered the email to, uh, in the first video, you'll see a button down here that says send a text message. So they would click on that and in the first box they would enter the mobile phone number of the party that they wish to reach. So in this case we'll use 555-123-4567. So it's a full 10-digit phone number. In the next box down, it's a drop-down box. You'll select the mobile provider of the party that they wished to reach. So in this case, uh, for the example, we'll just use, uh, we'll say that they were trying to reach somebody that was a Verizon customer. So they would come down and simply choose uh, Verizon here in this box. Now what's happening on the back end of that is we're actually changing um, some information. Each service provider provides an email address that you can send an email to that actually gets sent to a cell phone or a mobile device as a text message. I happen to know for Verizon, it's the 10-digit phone number at vtex.com. So that all happens on the back end and the end user doesn't have to deal with any of that. Uh, the next step in the process would just be to enter a text message. And then again, just like uh, when we were sending an email, it's going to ask you for a first and last name. And then they would simply click send the text. Now, just like when we sent the email, they do get the message queued screen uh, that lets them know that that will be sent over the air using amateur radio. So now we're inside the outbox of Pat Winlink. And you'll see here this text message that uh, we created on the other screen is in the outbox and ready to send. So we'll open this up and we'll see that the subject line is right here at the very top. So it lets them know that this message is coming from an emergency email server. Uh, down here it will tell them who sent the message in the first line and then below that it gives the text message. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, we're not going to send this one out, obviously, since we entered a fictitious phone number. But if you were, you would just simply click the action button and connect and continue on with the connection. So, we so anyway, that's how you would send a text message through the system. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I've got one more in this series before we wrap it up. Uh, we'll be looking at, uh, in the next one, how you can actually request some information uh, as a radio operator um, via RF and have that delivered back into your inbox. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, click that subscribe button. Until the next video, see you guys soon.